Hi, my name is Dave Cota from Prop M Property Management. One question I get a lot um, from owners is, what can I charge a tenant? Now, right out of the gates, I don't really like the way that's worded. Um, however, that's the way owners word it. What can I charge a tenant? It's not something that you should be looking for to charge a tenant, because um, that's really not right. I think the, the best way to do it is if you have, once again, a great move-in inspection or move-in video or move-in notes or whatever you may have, um, then again, when they move out, um, you have that same type of documentation and that really helps um, compare. However, normal wear and tear is really the key thing that we spoke about in some other videos, but you know, what can I charge a tenant? You can charge a tenant to clean the house, you can charge the tenant for professional uh, carpet cleaning or professional house cleaning. Um, if you need to patch up holes or something they did, uh, fine. However, uh, you need to look at the laws or call us, of course. Um, if there's carpet in there, there's a prorated amount on the carpet that you can charge them. If the carpet's been there for five years, then you only can charge them a certain percentage over each year based on the life expectancy of the carpet. Sounds confusing. Once again, that's why you want to hire a good property management company because they can help navigate that. Same thing with paint. Um, you know, it needs to be painted well, uh, and then there's a pro rate on how late, how long paint should last. Uh, so at the end of the day, once again, it's just important to really have that move-in sheet all um, filled out properly along with your video so you can really check off to make sure if it's normal wear and tear or if it's something the tenant truly damaged that you could charge them. Hope that helps. We look forward to talking with you soon. Bye-bye.